Good morning, fans of Privateer FX, 26 September 2018. Coming at you at the European Open. Uh, a little bit late this morning. Slept in uh, because not much going on. I'll be short and sweet here. Obviously, the meat of the day uh, is 8 p.m. tonight. So I. I encourage all of uh, our European listeners to uh, take it easy today, get your rest, do a bit of fitness, take a nap, uh, go screw your wife or your husband, um, whatever you need to do midday, um, and rest up for tonight, obviously, FOMC uh, is tonight. If she's bullish, dollar yen is going to roll. We've got uh, we got lots of lots of reasons for dollar yen to go higher uh, in the derivatives world. We have knockouts now at 113.50, 114, and 114.50. These tend to attract, uh, and the only way to get through the delta and the protection of these of these uh, derivatives is for strong news usually. So that lines up pretty well uh, you can see I've drew I've drawn an upward sloper here if uh, if she's dovish or if he's dovish um, 11270s line in the sand so hawkish just rip some dollars through the high there dovish 11270 Market structurally long euro right now from last Thursday. This bar here. This should get taken out today. See this trend line here. I thought it would be taken out yesterday. To be fair, I don't know exactly know what happened there. There was a big, big expiry at 118. The figure. Maybe that had something to do with it. Don't know. But um, through 30 today, they'll nail some stops. There's there's stops at 19. Uh, I left a stop there yesterday. Uh, normally, when I leave a stop like that, it's usually because others uh, are, are thinking the same or have to do the same or, or whatever. Uh, I'm just saying I'm probably not the only one thinking this, uh, and so there'll be a cluster of risk. Let's call it below 117.24 today, so be aware of that. Still long dollar CAD, core long, uh, got a decent average, we're just going to hold this into FOMC because we think we think he'll be hawkish today, uh, we expect this to rip higher, we also think that at any second now Trump could come out and say, you know, tell Canada to fuck off, um, I have no idea why he would do that, but again, nobody knows why he does anything, so, um, we're structurally long dollar CAD here, trading it, trying to get a better average, a safer average. Obviously, everything changes below this point here, uh, 128.86. But looks to me like we're gonna we're gonna cruise higher. Same thing with Oz. Structurally short. This looks less good. Um, this trend line now comes back into play. So we're going to cut this at 90 today. Uh, so it's a bit closer. We got a good average. You know, we sold 75s, we bought 35s. We sold 55s, we bought 35s. Um, so our average is, is above the figure. But we're going to cut this on this trend line now. Um, and, you know, if it wasn't FOMC today, this is a trend break. If it does go up, and this, if this does break tonight, if uh, Powell is dovish or the FOMC in general is dovish, this uh, is a nice pattern. Keep an eye on this. I won't bore you with uh, with any anything else here. Obviously, one last thing: uh, if they're hawkish, stocks go down. If they're dovish, stocks go up. We got so much time, so. 13 hours and counting, get your rest, get your head right, um, should be an interesting, interesting evening tonight, good luck out there people, talk to you.